When it comes to hot button issues, this one is a scorcher. Lawmakers in Tallahassee are debating a controversial education bill that pits public schools against charter schools. News Channel 8's Paul Mueller joining us live tonight from the Hillsborough County School District building to explain what's at stake. Paul. Well, it's called House Bill 7069, and what's at stake? Well, the education of the nearly 3 million Florida students. And you know what? Superintendents and school districts across Florida and here in the Bay Area, including Hillsborough County, well, they are racing for impact. How important is your child's education? Extremely important. It's number one with regards to raising her. Right. Nancy Gornick keeps a close eye on her 15-year-old daughter, Courtney, always making sure her Osceola Fundamental High School sophomore is hitting the books. But now she's concerned lawmakers could fail her daughter. A lot of kids struggle. I mean, you can see that in a lot of the grades that schools around here have, that they are, the kids are struggling, and a lot of them would struggle even more if they didn't have those teachers to support them. Critics say House Bill 7069 would take money away from some of the poorest public schools to fund charter schools. Other possible cuts include reading programs, in Polk County. In Pasco County, as many as 48 teachers, coaches, and curriculum specialists, just to name a few. In Pinellas County, a program that lets more than 6,000 students take their laptops home. But one of the bill's biggest proponents, Speaker Richard Corcoran, education. says it's that's simply not true. Can you assure parents that this bill uh, will be good for their children? This is the best education bill for K-12 public education ever passed in the history of the state of Florida. A wide-ranging bill that covers everything from hiring the best teachers to proper testing. But if it turns out that doesn't work that way, Karen's daughter Courtney says it would be a shame for future students. We do good, like, academically. But, like, if we lost, like, our resources, then we'd probably drop in grades. And all her mom wants. That they get the best education, the best opportunity ever. And the bill has already passed the House and the Senate, so essentially it is now on the desk of the governor. The big question, of course, will he sign it? The only answer he'll give right now is he's reviewing it. Keith. Paul Mueller, live in Tampa. Thank you.